Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us here on Midday Kentucky. Today I'm joined by Ellie Harmon from High on Art and Coffee. We're learning all about this unique business. Welcome to the show. Thanks for coming in today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. So I can't believe I've not been to your establishment yet. So for people at home, High on Art and Coffee, it sounds like an amazing concept. Um, how'd you get started? What can people find there? Well, it, it's our dream. My husband and I run and own the place. My daughter works for us. And then, of course, all our other employees we consider adopted children. Um, we're right there on East High Street between Woodland and Kentucky Avenue. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got started, like I said, it was our dream. My husband's the coffee restaurant guy. I'm an artist. And I found that there weren't a lot of places for new upcoming artists to be displayed and to be honored. So when we found the location, we fell in love. And we've been there a little over three years since January. And uh, just having a good old time. So how does that work for people maybe just looking for a nice cup of coffee? Can you, you just come in, order what you like, and around the walls? It's decorated by the art that's on sale? Right. We have three main rooms. The one room is our cafe. Okay. And there's art in there. And then we have our other two rooms have art and jewelry and sculpture and pottery. And we have books and poetry and all kinds of wonderful things for everybody in every taste. Let's talk a little bit more about the art. I love that this is an outlet to showcase all the local talent we have here, and we really have a lot of that here in Kentucky. How would you describe some of the art that you have there? We're very eclectic. Okay. We have the horses and the landscapes for our typical Kentucky people who like art, but then we have abstract pieces and, like I said, sculptures and pottery and one-of-a-kind jewelry for every taste out there. So a little bit of something for everybody. Right now we're representing about 185 artists, only six from out of state. So you can, if you can't find something you like at High and Art and Coffee, you're not looking hard enough. And pretty budget friendly, right? All price range. Very budget friendly, yeah. Most of our artists are new to the scene, want to get their art out there, so, and they realize if they price it well, and low enough where mm -hmm. people will buy it and then somebody comes to their home or their restaurant or their bed and breakfast and sees it, they'll know where to find more by coming to High and Art and Coffee. A wonderful place even to come in to look for a gift for someone. But I want to talk a little bit about what you offer aside from coffee. You also have some food items and you have a yes. famous sandwich that just sounds to die for, right? We do. <laughs> it's a crangerine sandwich. It started out as a holiday special between Christmas and thanks and Thanksgiving. I did it backwards, okay. but you get the idea. <laughs> it's turkey and bacon and provolone, lettuce, tomato, onion on a croissant, and then we add our cranberry citrus sauce as well as my husband's homemade roasted garlic mayo. And when we were about to take it off the specials board, many of our customers threatened our lives if we <laughs> didn't keep it on the board. So we said, okay, we will keep the grangerine, and we have many options. That one is probably not as diet friendly as some, but Classic. we also <laughs> can offer any sandwich as a lettuce wrap. We have some great, very healthy choices as well as our not so healthy choices. It's such a unique business. What's the most rewarding thing about being able to own this business with your husband? Well, I think the biggest thing is just living our dream. Mm -hmm. You know, It's something we talked about for years and when the location became available, everything just fit into place and we were ready to start our dream and we're doing it and of course being able to help other artists and show artists we have some artists that have showed for years at, at other locations and we have some artists it's the first time they've ever sold or, or shown anywhere so it's really fulfilling to be able to be there for local artists so a unique business. Definitely going to come down and check you out. Thanks oh, for coming in so. to talk to us today. Well, thank you. I appreciate <laughs> nice your to time. See you. We're going to send things to break, but we have your what's popping on the other side.